Uh, okay, five minutes to live. Uh oh, where did I? Oh, I clicked on analytics. Yes. Wow. That's cool. Um, you're dying. Yay! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Ancient prophecy has come to pass, dividing the land into darkness and light. From all corners of the world, heroes are being called to join a quest that will decide the fate of Norath. The time has come for each of us to choose a path. For even now, the armies of evil are massing, preparing to fight for a future in which chaos and destruction will reign. Adventure comes alive. This game has not yet been rated. Nvidia.
Hi, everyone. You may have heard me talking earlier, but now I'm talking for real. Welcome Hi. to Server Quest Live. We're almost done with this feature, folks. Only 35 more games. That's not true. Uh, joining me, as always, is my compatriot, Ian Gibson. Hey. Hi, hi. There he is. Hi. There he is. Um, yeah, today we're playing EverQuest 2, kind of full circle. We started this whole thing with the idea of playing EverQuest 1. Now we're moving on to 2. 2 quests. 1 ever. Does that make sense? Um, it does. You know, I was talking about this on the other stream the other day. I don't think... I think it was Tuesday when you weren't on about how this is... It's weird. It's full circle. This is the first sequel we have done. That's um, true. The squeakquel. It is. Uh, I'm um, going to create William, a... What? Real quick. I think you should, in OBS, turn your microphone into mono because the difference is definitely coming through on the stream. Nice. See, I, I really don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, your mic may be broken, honestly. Because <clears> I, was, I was thinking maybe the aux cord is not plugged in properly, but it's USB. You never know. Okay. Um, advanced audio properties. Sorry, folks. Just a little bit of technical snafu, but oh, I'm no. glad we caught it. There we go. Uh, let me now. know if that sounds better. I will check it. Do, do, do. Talking better now, hopefully. Yeah, keep singing. Oh, no. Is the stream down? Oh. No, it should be up. Okay, now we're back. It did not like when I changed the audio. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we're back. We're okay, folks. <laughs> daddy still loves you. I've died. Hey, if I'm Daddy, who are you? I am um, Uncle Bill. Cool. Um, so let's do it. How okay. about you share your screen this, with me this and sound, let's, let's this kick sounded, it off. This, that's the thing. That's the thing I was trying to remember. Is sharing my screen with you. Screens are complicated, <laughs> folks. Well, it's because we rarely do ones where we have to share screens now. Yeah, because uh, it's weird. It's like we're doing more complex streams, but we've just done it better now. Okay, so, Ian, uh -huh. this game wants you wants your money all the time, every day, <laughs> forever. When you exit the game, uh. it launches a web page. Oh. God, that Saying sounds of, uh, awful. This is my test boy named SB Test. <laughs> Hi, um, SB Test. So we're gonna we're not gonna create a level one hundred heroic because I think. Um. Oh, try before you buy. Should we drive a class Wait, at full level? Test drive. You get two eight. You know what? Honestly, this is a sequel. We've never had that option before. I think it has to happen. I right know traditional. Oh, I can't do heroic characters with that. Okay. Um. So this came out. Uh, I can't remember the exact date, but two weeks before World of Warcraft, and so you can guess. You can guess what that did for this game. <laughs> yes. Not a lot. I, wait, give me a second. I'm calculating. Calculating. Okay. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Right. Got Very it. bad. Okay. It's a close one there. Mm. Um. Okay. We've got Guardian. Oh, wait. We got Fighter, Priest, Mage, or Scout. Troubadour. Hi. I'm Dor. Troubadour. Did you know Alan Turing's, uh, famous for the Enigma, um, yes. actually had a sister named Kay? The Riddler. Uh, and mm -hmm. she uh, she provided most of his snacks and everything. Is actually the reason he discovered the Enigma stuff. Just a fun fact. I'm sorry. How how is that a fact at all? I don't understand it. Uh, so it, this guy who yeah. happened to be famous mm -hmm. had a sister whose name was Kay. Mm -hmm. What That's was her it? name? What's her full Kay. name? Kay Turing. <laughs> His name was Alan Turing. So <laughs> her name is Kay Turing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a terrible joke. <laughs> you know what threw me off? Look, just to throw you under the bus a little bit, was that you said 
you said he she provided him with snacks, which led to him discovering the enigma. <laughs> I couldn't remember the joke. <laughs> last part. That last part didn't make sense. That's what threw me off. <laughs> I, I read it. Catering. Oh God, this is <laughs> kill me. Okay. Um. Or coercer. Do I just tell people to jump off buildings? Come on, God. do it. Wasn't there a WoW character where you could temporarily take control of somebody else's character? I don't know, but that sounds awesome. I'm gonna look it up because I feel like people were people were going to a specific location, doing it to other characters, and then making them jump off a cliff. I'm gonna. Oh, wow. You know what? Make jump off cliff. If only people watch this, they could tell us what to be. Should I be an inquisitor? That sounds scary. Oh, that does sound scary. Wow. Like heal Control. wounds. Divine strikes. Mystic defiler. Oh, not gross. You know what? Let's do Mind a classic control. wizard. Mind control, formerly called Dominate Mind, is a level 36 priest ability that allows a unit to temporarily take control of a non-friendly target and use it against other enemies. It can last up to 30 seconds against monsters or 8 seconds against players. Wow. You can use it in PvE and PvP. Wow. Okay. So, see at the bottom here. Shop now. Uh -huh. It's the highlighted one. So you, you go to click like, oh, that's the next button. Nope. The shop now. But what happens if you click on it? It brings up a shop. Where I okay, can what if you click add funds? Oh. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Click add card. Add card. Yep, okay. Oh, it opened a web page. Yep, okay, now put in your credit card information. Don't uh -huh. worry, the stream can't see this. I can see it, but the stream can't see it. <laughs> Seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. That's you you see this over here? Stream can't, but... Yeah. It's it's yeah. going crazy. Why? Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Are you dropping frames at all? No, I, I think it's because the web page is so tiny. It could be. Oh, like it doesn't know quite how to render how to that size. size it. <laughs> yeah. You know, who cares? Okay, let's not buy anything. <clears throat> oh, look at my fairy lady. So nice. Yo, I started playing that Genshin Impact game today. Oh. Two minutes in, I deleted heard... it. Oh, really? The most annoying like character in the entire oh. world. <laughs> How are they annoying? Um, oh, What's her name? Her name's like Penguin or something. She's like, Penguin thinks we should go this way. Oh, this is Jesus Christ. Kill me. Just get it over with. That's, ugh. <laughs> oh. You gotta see the beginning like, of the thing. It was, like, but China has all so my information now, too. so. That's good. Oh, look at this burnt dwarf ew oh can i be <gasps> frog boy now oh, um boy. now that we're playing everquest again i would just like to highlight some comments that were left on our original everquest video ah we do know the differences between elves we were being entertaining i honestly don't remember so i just assumed <laughs> that he was correct in us not knowing the difference actually i'm pretty sure it was me who asked that no I you were like still you're like, Don't what's know. the point in separating out elves? They're all the same. <laughs> oh, was I? <laughs> I stand by my original comments then. I was oh. like, <laughs> oh, entertainment value. Look at this boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this is, I'm on girls. I need to go to boys. Oh, oh. oh look at this dark. Look at his, this, <laughs> this icon. I am a dark, Rossi. Do not, do not fight me. Oh, uh, you know what, Will? You know what I meant to tell you before? I meant to tell you this before the stream. So let me just, you know, I didn't want it to be on stream. Let's not play. Uh, it's okay. I'm just going to send it in Discord. If you could just check it real quick and then give me your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not as much as Overwatch. In... Oh, how dare you? Overwatch is... There's going to be... You know, maybe that should be an extra life segment. I just don't like... I I don't actually think Overwatch is bad. I personally do not like Overwatch. I just don't but like let me ask team you questions. games. How long team. did you, tr like, legitimately try it? Uh, I played, like, three or four matches. Okay, so I think we should do... A I just... I, I don't like team-based games with powers. 
Oh, there's something else. Look, I know you really want to start this game, but remember how you said you haven't seen Borat? Borat 2 got announced. It's coming I, out in just a couple weeks. You need to watch Borat. I know. We're going to watch it. I literally texted Karen the other day saying, hey, can we watch Borat? And she was Wait, like, yeah. she not seen Borat? She's never seen it either. Although, I watched the trailer for 2 and it gave me anxiety. It's it's a little like that. but Okay, <laughs> but here's the thing. Um, I don't know if you should watch it with Karen. My wife... It's a very, look, it's, it's, Sasha Baron Cohen is Jewish and he's, and he spent time in Israel. Oh no. But, but it makes a lot of anti-Semitic jokes. Oh, she's okay with that. Okay. As long as they're jokes. They they are jokes, but they're the type of jokes where they're so deep that it's like, we're still joking, right? I I feel like she'll like that more because, um, a friend of mine who's Mormon said, that the Book of Mormon was twice as funny because they were Mormon. Oh, because they were familiar with it. Like they knew what they were specifically yeah. talking about. Just let me know how it goes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong. Know. I'm just legitimately curious. Oh yeah. Uh, Ian Anyways, said you might not like Borat because they're a lot of. Uh, he's a Borat's a Jewish guy. Sasha Baron Cohen. He makes a lot of anti-Semitic jokes. Her parents, two Israelis, said it was the funniest thing ever. So. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Karen doesn't get offended. You should have been there on our second date. Went to a Whoa. specific music. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she says she likes when Jews make fun of other Jews. Which is why I'm not allowed to make jokes. Except uh-huh. on stream! Um, oh, Mud Sifter. That seems like a frog... What is this, a guy? A frog lock? That seems like a... Uh, uh, like a like mean name you mud sifter what do you go sift wow. some mud wow this is this is getting racial connotations going on around here but doesn't it like that seems like not a it skin does. pattern it seems you know, like, like a mud blood like a mud blood <gasps> mud blood that's from a harry potter right yeah it is from harry potter yeah are we not allowed to say harry potter anymore i've lost track This is a fun stream. I'm sorry, I'm getting emergency <laughs> texts right now. <laughs> if you need to answer them, just let me know. I can. Stop. No, 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 no. It's just, I, it just w- had to be answered, not emergency or anything. Um, okay, I'm gonna make a tiny frog man. Uh, yeah. So I want to watch Borat. Let's see. Oh, know what I watched last night? Terrible. Love the director, and I bet this movie at one point uh-huh. was very good. Hmm. Or at least, I, I mean, this movie made a huge cultural impact. That's pretty much why. It's like going back and watching Psycho. Um, yes. I watched Halloween. Oh, I've never seen it. Boy, slow movie. I don't, I don't really, you know, that's probably going to be one of the few movies in which, I can't remember her name, in which I do like that. Jamie actress. Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. I just don't like her and everything else. It's it's she just she has drama club energy and I really don't appreciate drama club energy. That server had a Kelzor on it, so I had to go to a different oh. server. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, let's crazy. let's play this game for five minutes and then we can start uh saying random things that are Yeah. Yeah, we can we can do some more discussion. Um uh, let me give you some background. So this is EverQuest 2. Uh, like we talked about, released uh, two weeks before World of Warcraft in 2004. Uh, it's by Sony Online Entertainment, who previously did EverQuest, Planetside. Uh, they also did City of Heroes. They did Planetside 2. Uh, I believe they're now called Daybreak Game Company, uh, which does H1Z1, I believe. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's it was subscription-based since launch, but it was free-to-play version released in 2010 called everquest 2 extended and then they canceled the subscription oh they canceled the subscription a year later so since 2011 it's been completely free to play so um it's free to play and it crashed yes cool um let's keep let's try it again yep my my Frame, my drop frames just went through the roof because uh, during it crashing. <laughs> I feel like everything always goes That's, wrong. 
that reminds me of um, the first episode of No Man's Sky when the game crashed so hard that it it killed my internet. Yeah, for like that happened to me seconds. with um, to Arma, it was something with you and Zach. I booted Grand up Theft Auto online. No, Grand Theft Auto did that. That was the famous case where it just destroyed everything on my computer. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if it was Arma. It was like in the middle of a stream, Arma crashed and I lost you guys, but you didn't notice because I think I was dead or something. And so I just came back. I'm like, I was just gone for like 30 seconds. I think it was Arma. That's right. I'm starting to remember that now. You are? Because I made it up. God, no. (laughs) Damn it. I should have paid attention. (laughs) I should have paid attention. can Can I just put something out there? What Microsoft? If you're, if you're watching, uh, we're influencers, so you should send us a, a Xbox Series X. Hey, could you send me an Xbox? Series? I don't understand how. Okay, look, they, you're sending them to, to to journalists and websites like Digital Foundry, Verge, CNET, etc. That makes sense. Why would you se- Why would you ever, ever, ever trust pre-release hardware to YouTube influencers? They are not going to keep that under wraps. They're not going to abide by the NDA. No, like I, they, I, I'm, I, I wish I had specific examples, but there have definitely been times in which they tried to do that. I think it was Apex Legends that leaked because they tried to get influencers involved, and they leaked it early. What? My first person? Oh yeah, you are. Hi. Oh, you need um, some controls. I'm sorry, also, but. I hate everyone who tweets, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I know you're doing it because you probably I, need to. I, but, but I don't Especially know, I don't with games, it. it always comes across. I don't know. I, I think I, I think that makes sense. You know, like, let's say if we got one, we would want to start hyping people up, right? We want to be like, hey, by the way, oh, I've got something good. Content yeah, is coming. There's reasons to do it, and I'm fine with that, but it... To me, I always read it as like, heck yeah, I got this game and I'm like, I'm playing it right now and you're not playing it. And I know none of them mean it that way. I know, but it just in my brain, it makes it like, oh, oh I got yeah. the game early. I got the game early. Okay. Wait. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. F, try F9. <gasps> yeah. Oh, what? Get oh my gosh. Oh my god, you got a mount? Why why does that 3.5 mil number keep popping up or 360? Turns landing. Oh no. You're just constantly healing. Oh, can I attack this guy? Good dude, you're gonna die. Probably should have played the tutorial. Oh I just did like an epic spell on him. Negative 15 mil? Jesus. I am the most powerful man. Can we change this into like a server quest cheat engine edition and just play every game like this? Well, this game chugs. You know what? That's a good series idea is we just cheat engine. We just play a bunch of games with cheat engine. Health bank. Um, Sorry, folks. I just want to stop this game from wanting to kill itself. Go. Balance. Um, except okay look at this cool horse oh, that's fancy oh yeah i can moonwalk hey did you see uh wow shadowlands got delayed it did yeah oh no i did not see that let me let me see if they i don't i don't think they said a specific date but i'm, I'm checking right now ball of fire uh, it's delaying the expansion until sometime later this year so interesting yeah so that whole i'm just gonna i know you didn't do this on purpose but that whole stream scheduling thing where you're like let's shift things around so i can play world of warcraft when shadowlands comes out yep my classic stream scheduling voice yeah um that's okay good you know what um how's it how's it going hi zach I miss, you know, I was thinking today, Zach, I haven't talked to you in a while. We need to get you on another stream. Maybe the Star Wars Squadron stream that we eventually have that. 
Oh, that was a mistake. I just... Huge mistake wow. I'm making. Wow, this supports widescreen. Yeah, it really does. Oh, man. It's not being shown. Man, I really don't get some of these older games have the worst time. Running? It's not running. It's like capturing. Well, how are you capturing it? We're usually doing a game capture, but I'm going to do a... I'm going to try window capture. What if you just point your phone at the screen and we do an OBS ninja? Oh, that's a that's an even better idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, so while uh, Shadowlands delayed till sometime later this year, they said they need more time to polish it. Um, we will be playing that at some point because we have not hit World of Warcraft yet. As a matter of fact, I believe. It is the very next game. Oh. Yes, that's correct. You got a lot of good ones on here. If I'm not mistaken, including WoW, we have 16 episodes left. <laughs> Jesus. Can't do it anymore. Why did... Wait, and isn't this like episode 15 or 16 or something like that? We're going to have 30 so. episodes of this. I I, so. I'm just happy that I put my foot down and I, and I just stopped playing the games with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still saddened by it. I think it's much better because it lets me kind of drive the conversation, look up information and stuff. Oh, wow. This is interesting. EverQuest 2 excuse me, is not a direct sequel, but it is a parallel universe. It is set in an alternate future of the game original game setting, having diverged at the conclusion of the Planes of Power expansion. You uh, doing okay over there? Yeah. I gotta figure out this dropping frames thing. Really don't know what the problem is. Well, it's only when you think it's only when we're playing old games, right? I really think it is. I even tested this during. Um, oh no. I tested this with just uh, restream the other day, and it was doing fine. Really don't know what it is. Yeah, it looks. It's a little weird. Let me uh, let me just check on my end, make sure the stream looks okay. Okay. Yeah, the stream's okay. It's just we're like probably like 30, 40 seconds behind now. Really weird. Very annoying. I'll try to figure it out some more. Thought maybe it was the um, the eight the encoder, but it doesn't. I didn't change it because I thought it was something else. Sorry, everyone. This is um, this is quite a power fantasy they've thrown me into here. Yeah, go through your spells and see what you got. Yeah, I've got incinerate. Is that what it said? Magma chamber. Oh, oh my god! Oh, I found Malvonicus's folly. Um. So yeah, Halloween. Uh, it was kind of tense, but it was not a scary movie. Um. Yeah, I'm just not a big horror fan, so I, uh, I've thought about watching it, but I just... I don't yeah, know it I just wasn't very... It, it wasn't a horror movie as they are today. At all. Yeah. But a lot of horror movies today are just, like, very focused on, like... The scare. Horror in editing. Yeah. You know? Because even something like The Exorcist is... It's a lot more about, like, foreboding atmosphere than it is necessarily jump cuts jump scares etc etc i need to watch the exorcist i've been trying to watch more old scary movies because they're less scary now 
And I'm also a big baby. We watched a very interesting movie called The Love Witch. And, um... Oh, wow. Got a loyalty point token. And, um, basically, uh, we watched it because I saw a picture of it on the cinematography subreddit because it is a movie shot in 2016 but shot on film with the specific purpose of looking like a movie from the 60s. So the writing, the acting, the char the the costumes, the sets, the actual cinematography and everything is very 60s and it like pulls it off very very well. But it's crazy because it's not it's not super trying to be in the 60s like like there's a modern cop car in the first scene. And then at one point, one of the characters like pulls out a cell phone to use it. So they're not like trying to be in the 60s. Gotcha. But at the same time, it's just a super 60s saturated movie. And it was it was pretty good. It was like, it, I mean, I guess you could call it a horror movie, but it was more just about like. I don't know, I'm trying to think of the word for it. It's definitely not jump scares or anything. It's more just like thriller. This is an e this is an evil person, you know, yeah. and you're just kind of. Kind of like, um, what's it called? I think it's cool. Under the Skin? I've That's the Scarlett Johansson movie, right? Yeah, similar to that, where it's like, this is a weird, wonky person, and you're just kind of going with them for a while. But it's not explicitly about scares or anything. Hey, um, that. this game, it's super... Can, can, we, can we just stop playing this? <laughs> Okay, here's my proposition. I, we if we think this is if we think this is killing the stream so much, then I think we stop playing it because we're not that interested in it anyways, and we just try some other stuff out. True. Let me look at my stuff. See, look, open that membership menu. Oh, jeez. Oh, daybreak all access. Yeah, because yeah, the problem is like oh, boy, looking that at... was running good. Yeah, my phone kept buffering my phone is, is has twitch open so let's play something else for a bit and i'm still dropping frames hey you should also not have twitch running in the background because that's going to eat up your bandwidth okay usually i have it running and it doesn't do much yeah i mean it's just just in case that over um yeah we can pivot uh let me you know what, let's just talk for a little bit. Yeah. Let's I can look find at something while we, while we talk. You want to look at Gunpla? I could look at Gunpla. Yeah, because I, I figured let's just do a baseline for like four or five minutes, nothing running. Yeah. Um, so I've been watching Gundam Unicorn, so let's just go to Gundam Planet and see what they got. Let me um, capture a window. Delicious gun. Gundam Planet. Gundam. I think it's time to buy a master grade. I, you know, I was thinking that exact thing the other day. And they're pretty, they're pretty cheap. If you just get like, so I'm going to actually, you know, let me just look at the master grades on Gundam. Excuse me. I'm going to sort by price. Ascending. Here we go. So they, they have a, an MG ball for $23, which is pretty cool. I do want to get that eventually, but. What's the MG Gundam. ball? It's, you should look at it. It's basically, it's hard to describe. It's kind of like the Sherman tank of Federation forces in the one year war. So it, it's just like a super mass produced unit. I'm into that. Uh, but I think if you want to get the, the MG RX 78-2, which is the grandpa, the, the OG Gundam version 1.5, it's only 32 bucks at Gundam Planet. That's pretty good. The cool. Master Grade. And then they have the Ground Type Master Grade for 32, the z -Gok Oh, for yeah, the, gun, the Ground Type is the one I wanted to get because I have the regular grade version of it, or a high-grade version. I wanted yeah. to compare them. Yeah. Actually, you know, let me pull it up. Let me see what that Okay, looks here. Like. I got the webpage up. Gonna play Uh yeah, everything's cooled down on my uh I'm, st I'm at I you know, honestly, I wonder if it was Twitch doing it. 
But it usually, I wonder if, you know, this is what I think it was. I wonder if it was Twitch in tandem with me playing an online game. Maybe. Oh, they got that metal metal gear. Rest. Oh yes, want that. I Man, they've stopped a- stocking I some uh, Yamato stuff. So I gotta find somewhere else that has it. Or I wonder if I can email them and ask them to specifically order it. Ooh, maybe because I I feel like you could definitely they can order in small quantities. Yeah. Man, look at this metal supplier. gear X. That's cool. They have the uh, Sahelanthropus as well somewhere. Um, oh, question that did you see my, my? I don't know if you saw it, but the Death Stranding thing. Do you know how that is constructed? No, I was I was trying to to look it up. I I think I think the best way to look it up because that's just a pre order is to just look at other kits from that manufacturer and see what yeah. they are. That's probably the easiest way. But it did look good. Yes, these these MGs are pretty cheap, and they have a bunch of MGs that I would want. Um, um, I, was, I was also looking at perfect grades. I do need at least one perfect grade. Oh, that's life. this. Yeah, I kind of want to get a. Uh, I want to get a master grade of diaper boy. Oh yeah, but that, I think that one's like. I think it's like 110 or 120 because oh. it's a little bit rarer. So the problem I'm having with the perfect grade is they have this. There's a perfect grade of Grandpa Gundam, but if if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't get good reviews because that's the weird thing is like. Most uh, some of the perfect grades actually have less detail and they're not as good as the master grade or the, the high grade. But I think this one is actually good. Yeah, this one looks good. The uh, which what one are you looking at? Oh, the. PGRX 78 dash two. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's one I'm looking at. Oh, so yeah. So you should look at MGRB 79. Is that, um, oh, looking at Grandpa quick. Yeah, maybe it was Amazon reviews for a different version that were not good, but this one looks pretty good. Do I have to, I have to paint it though? I don't. Those parts you may have to, but it, I mean it's just a snap kit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, you wanted master grade. Yeah, it's MGRB dash seven nine. I didn't it's... type anything. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> and I hate their search. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, maybe it's easy. If you just go to Gundam, hover over Gundam and go to Master Grade. Gundam Unicorn. And then let's just, let's sort by price ascending. Wow, that guy is $254. So that first one, that is the ball. Oh. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like the Sherman because it's just like a super low-grade Federation mass-produced kit. You know, that's what they went into battle. They had a lot more of those than they did Gundams during the one-year war, but it's just such a cool little thing. I'm very into that. Yeah. It's neato. Um, and then back on the master grade page, it's actually kind of nice. Like a lot of the, I don't want to call them basic, but a lot of like the main core Gundams and, uh, mobile suits are at the lower end price range. So you've got a couple of the grandpa Gundams, you've got the ground type, you've got the Z-Gok, you've got the Zaku 2 in both, uh, Char Red, Red Comet, as well as the, the normal green. You've got the Gundam Mark 2. This guy's GM Sniper, Mission you've pack. got the Ramba Raw Goof version. And all of these are pretty cheap. Yeah, that's the one thing I like when you introduce me to Gundam is, like, I'm not that into Gundam, but man, they're, like, some of the stuff is cheap for what it is. Like, if you wanted, like, 
something this detailed in any other fandom, it would yeah, cost you, you would a, a pretty penny. And they're just they're so they're so well made too. It's like I've been I've been messing around with a I've done two Revel kits now and an Airfix kit, and they are not good. They have so much flashing on them. They don't mm-hmm. match up properly. There was one part that I was putting together and I knew I had it together pr- right because it had it had reference pins so that you could put it together properly. But then the de- the like the decorative lining on the part itself was not lining up, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I knew I had them exactly together as the model wanted. And yet the lining, the decorations did not line up. It was just it's, it's like, how can you make those mistakes when yeah. Bandai is out here making perfect perfect model kits look at this big boy oh my god general revel custom oh he's from unicorn i'm watching unicorn right now oh my god the general revel so i just saw this ship they're like it's the federation flagship and it shows up and you know how like some of the ships have runways on them for the Mm -hmm. gundam to launch off of this one had it had eight runways. It was insane. It was enormous. And I was like, Jesus. That's just awesome. a crazy looking ship. Let's, uh, should we play a game? Shall we play a game? Sure. Let, let me, me, um, let me check something real quick. Because. What do you yeah. have? Uh, well, not before. that we need to play multiplayer, but. Uh, I got a, bunch of stuff oh man i no i don't know if that's exciting i started i tell you i started playing elix again that uh oh my god only because like i so i was started subscribing to the rpg gamers subreddit and mm-hmm. it's actually pretty good because it's a lot of like people asking questions about stuff and so when someone's like hey what's a really good rpg with like character progression like you're becoming more powerful and all this stuff and they're like elix is like probably the best and yeah, the the um dialogue is crazy. Uh mm-hmm. but pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. How about we play um you wanna play some No Man's Sky? Uh yeah, we can play No Man's Sky if you want. Yeah. I, I think that's a that's a good way to, to tax your system and see if we drop frames. True. I'm at twenty one three seventy eight. I got him doing a monitor cam. Turn that off. Y'all can't see my bad stuff. I was, um, I'm going to spend. Actually, I don't know if I have time now. Maybe not for the first episode of Spooky Pixel, but I'm trying to make a pre, a good pre roll. Ooh. Um, You could almost just clip previous scares. That's true. That's not. That's not a bad idea. Um, I'm gonna host this session since I'm already in here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, previously on No Man's Sky, uh, we went to Jake's planet and he had dinosaur bones, and w- we had to deal with some bugs and problems, but we were able to get dinosaur bones. I got like two million credits. Wow! Like in like twenty thirty minutes. Um, and then. We went and did a, a salvage mission with the freighter. And I don't know, it was it was just kind of wonky. And I think part of the problem was that all of us were like, I think we were splitting stuff between us. So I'm not even sure how much money I got, maybe like, maybe like one or two million. And Jake had to pay five million just to start the mission. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I've been so, so busy. I haven't had any oh. time to like, yeah. Even also, uh, my game crashed at the end of the uh, of the mission, so I lost everything that I found in there. Fantastic. Which is cool, I guess. That's cool. But let's just go hunt. Where Where am I? Uh, I'm joining you. I just give me two seconds because I have to. Oh no, you're fine. I'm just okay. I'm I'm on Goofer's second chance. Yeah, so I'm dropping frames now, but I think it's because I'm loading into the game. And it's not that many. 
But yeah, my internet really, the kilobytes per second dips down to like 1600. And it just went oh, down wow, to really? 83. Hey, uh, just real quick, 3080 update. Still don't have one. No. I think about 10 times per day, I get a I get a notification that's like, it's in stock. And then I click on it and it's gone. So I will get one eventually. All right. I, I just want to go get... Okay, there you go, folks. You can see my no man's sky. All right, so I, I want to go get some berry technology stuff. Getting a message? Oh, from Apollo. Yeah, I'm just consistently dropping frames again. It's annoying. I wonder really? if it That's... just is my internet now. I think maybe if we try a non an intense but non multiplayer game. I think the problem is you'd have to switch games cuz cuz no yeah. man's sky. But let's play I mean, for I a could, little. Bit. I could just play single player. No, I, I think it's it's still always online. It's still always going to be Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Let's let's play for a couple minutes and see if it stabilizes. Oh, man. I just oh, you know what? It. I'm going to... Let's leave Parsec on for now. Oh, are you st oh, yeah, that could be it. Let's let's leave Parsec on for a couple minutes, and then I'll kill Parsec, and we'll see if it gets Yeah, better. I just dropped to zero kilobytes a second for a minute there. Oh, okay. Well, let me kill Parsec now. Come on, Parsec. Yeah, Parsec is not happy. Okay, I killed Parsec. Exciting stuff, folks. Very exciting stuff. I'm gonna go to the space station. Um, I think it was Parsec. Really? It's evened out completely now. Should we uh should we go back to Noma to uh request two? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you wanna just hang out and play for a bit? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I haven't dropped a single frame since you left. Oh, that sucks. So I wonder if it was if it was Parsec or if it was your network being stressed by Parsec. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, because you said the Twitch thing, and I was like, oh, yeah, probably. But I, I watch every single uh, Brothers in Arma on my phone and my and the computer. And it's never given me an issue. Oh, really? Yeah, I, th I think it was really just I think I don't, I, don't, I don't play it on the computer, partly for the internet, but also I'm afraid that it's going to start playing the audio. And then it'll get picked up. True. Oh, we're still here, planet. Oh, did I land at the wrong base? Oh no, there you are. Yeah, I was all ready to get back into this game, and then I got to play it for a whole weekend, and then I was just busy, busy. And so I haven't had... And then I was... And then Tuesday night, I was like, ready to go, and then stuff came up, and then... I, I could have gone, and I was like, I didn't want to bother you because you probably already set up for Kyle and Jake. And then I ended up watching the dumb debate. <laughs> oh, boy, was that, that not was, worth it. <laughs> no, that was 100% worth it. Uh, I watched it after the stream was done, and I was... Boy. I was like, stream was done, like 10.30 or whatever. I turn on the debate at like 10.45, and I'm like... Okay, let's let's see how long I want to watch this. And then I was like, I didn't turn it off until like midnight. 
<laughs> I was sucked into it. This is so entertaining. Gentlemen, gentlemen, mi- Mr. President, Mr. President. Uh, Chris I, Wallace I'm, figuring yeah. out if he was allowed to yell at the president or not is the best part. I Man, I'm so upset right now because I'm looking at my fuel. I'm in Pulse Engine. I am going so slowly towards the space station. And I was stuck for a little bit, but the entire time I was stuck, my fuel was still going down. I try not to crap on this game too much. Oh, but this isn't you? I thought you were next to me this whole time. No, I took off. It was just these boxes. Such dumb stuff. I'm going to get... Um, I'm going to get the... The Exo Rover, whatever you call it, or try to. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the thing. I guess it is good, but not, I feel like the progression system isn't as good as it should be. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And the crafting system, I think, isn't as good as it should be. They have improved it, but it's still not great. But you know, like I've said previously, if it's not Factorio, it's not good. True. Yeah, this yeah, it was a hundred percent parsec. Wow. Well, at least we figured it out. Yeah, uh, I feel better now. No, wait, I'm like, man, to... my internet's really. I mean, my internet's not great, but it's really never been that bad. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it felt like we had we had ironed that out, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Get my freighter here. How do I? How do I? How do I? Hi, freighter. Okay, I need. I'm gonna. Daddy's gonna look something up. You excited for, uh... No. Okay. Uh, are you getting squadrons? Um, I'm not sure. I was kind of planning on it if we were going to stream it. But now I'm kind of like, eh, maybe. It does look really fun. Um, we'll have to see what people say. Um, I, I mean, the reviews are out, at least the single player reviews. And a lot of people are saying it's like, it's, it's really good. Like it's, it's more realistic than the Rogue Squadron games, but it's also not like punishingly realistic. So, but they also said it's like a rather niche game. They're like, if you're into this, this is a very good thing, but you know, don't expect a whole lot from the single player and there's not a whole lot of depth in the multiplayer. So it's just like, just like a really good Star Wars flight sim. And it's only 40 bucks. Just a second. Uh, Entertain the stream, Ian. Hi. Um, so I'm trying to make an exocraft, which is like, it's it's basically a land vehicle. Okay, so let's see. A base must first unlock its blueprint by building an exocraft terminal. Terminals, the exocraft terminal is used. I'm trying to figure out, okay. Exocraft. The build blueprint is so, so, so. Is part of the base missions. The blueprints for the following items can be acquired at an exocraft terminal. Okay, wait, okay. Uh, no, no, no man's sky. How to get exocraft. Oh, okay, here we go. Sorry. To get an exocraft vehicle in No Man's Sky next, first you'll need to return to base, then locate the specialist terminal crafting menu. In this menu, interact with the exocraft terminal option. Let me throw up chat. Hi, chat. Let me throw up chat. Um. Oh, I'm at a trinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitrinitr
and was doing some other stuff, and then I was like, no, oh, I can just teleport back. Yeah, and then you can just call your ship. Yeah. Um, Good for second chance. I gotta find some... Trin... Trin Oh man, did I lose all the money I made the other day too? I need did to you? check that. I, I think I may have. Okay, let's see. Oh no, I kept my money. Oh, that's good. Got 2.1 mil. Okay. All right. So. Why are you? Specialist terminal. Oh, yeah. I've made a scientist one and a. Tech. Wait, do I have to unlock these? Marking all this. Do I? Do you know if I have to unlock these? Unlock the terminals? Yeah. Yeah. There's a quest line for it. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I guess I'm doing the quest, boys. Do you remember Dude. which one it is? It is like the base one. Should we call it like... Base, base computer archives. No, it's expanding the base is what I mine is. Have you done like the Apollo stuff? Because I'm pretty sure he's what triggers it. Mm, I went to the anomaly and I came out of the anomaly and that uh, was it. Yeah, you got to keep doing like the Artemis storyline and everything. Oh, God. God. Yeah. Who just sent me navigation data? Hi, Ian. Bye. Oh, bye. What a great stream. Oh, is this your freighter right here? Yeah. Called it in. Shooting at something right now. What is it shooting at? Looks like it's shooting at you. Oh no, and it called in Sentinels too. I think it's because I shot at you? Well, let's fight some Sentinels. Um, maybe it is shooting at some. Oh no. Okay, I'm taking off in a second. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It really killed my system. Nice. I learned how to do uh, do uh, laminate flooring today. Very fun. Oh, it's mostly just glue, right? No, they actually they like fit together. They like pop oh, under each other. Oh, you're talking about like yeah, the fake one. Like, yeah, I've fake done that. laminate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty fun. It's a lot more work than I thought it was. Thank goodness uh, we have access to like a saw there, uh, like a yeah, what is the the lower down e saw thing called? Miter saw. Miter saw. Thank you. Karen said it earlier. I could not remember. Um, we had a miter saw, so that kind of helped with everything, but. Boy, worth the effort. We've done like a fifth of the room and it looks so good. Kind of into it. And the stuff doesn't scratch at all. Did you guys pay for that or you get it cheap? Uh, we paid for it, but it was super cheap. It was, I think it was 89 cents a square foot. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, my, uh, 
My parents have done it a little bit, and they always got it cheap by... Like, if you go to Home Depot, they always have, like, a section that has, like, damaged box or whatever. Or there's just, like, flooring that's not selling, and they'll always sell it dirt cheap. Yeah, we did a couple uh, boxes of it. Home Depot. <laughs> what is this guy I... doing to me? Cool. I'm a, new, I'm a test subject now, apparently. Oh. Oh. Out of fuel. Whoa. Oh, I'm very out of fuel. Are there any asteroids nearby? You wanna come help me fight? Uh yeah, I just I have no fuel. Kind of blow up some asteroids. Some trinitrum. Trinitium. Whatever it's called. Okay. Oh no, they're on me now. I wonder what happens if we, like, beat all of them. Okay, coming to you. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hello. Well, this guy's a tough guy. Oh, never mind. I just wasn't hitting him. Let's get um. Well, they almost all crashed into me. Uh. These guys make really scary noises. Um, I started reading Dune. Good book. So far. Yeah, kinda, it's, uh... Kind of got over the hump. Little, yeah, yeah, it takes a bit to get used to it. I feel like with every Dune novel, it takes a little bit to get used to it. Yeah, it's like, I, I think I had said this to Jake on the Discord. It's a sci-fi novel written like a fantasy novel. Yeah, I think it's, it's like, it's, it's hardcore sci fantasy sci-fi. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like high, high fantasy sci-fi. Yeah, because it yeah. doesn't. It just doesn't explain anything. It's like, hey, pronounce these words. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we're really beating these guys up. Oh, you know what I should do? I should call my capital ship here. Yeah. I wonder if it would help you. Can that warp freighter here? Oh, no. Why can't I? We have to wait until we're out of combat. Yeah. 
wonder if it just won't fight for you in a way, you know? Yeah, but the last time I... Oh, there's that ship. I guess I summoned an anomaly last time. Have you bought a new ship yet? No, I just... I've, I've thought about it. I just want to save my money for something that's actually worth it, you know? Yeah. I get something fun. Come on. Yeah, I feel like they added a lot of cool stuff to this, but you can't get access to it out of the get-go. I think it's the problem. Yeah. yeah like, I you agree. can get access to it, but it's going to be a while. That's why, like, every expansion, when it would come out, I'm like, oh, I, I want to play that. And then I'm like, oh, no, I don't, because i got to do so much to get to it. Oh, my God. That's the second time an enemy has just, like, disappeared in front of me. Have you seen that? No. They're, like, chasing one down. Oh, I took a critical it... damage. Oh, you know what? I may have shot you. Wanna... Can we blow this ship up? The freighter? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's try it. There's another fighter pilot here. Can we just land on it and take it over? Oh no, it's got turrets on it. We gotta take out them turrets. Oh, there's multiple frigates. Oh, that's... Yeah, what ship are we shooting at? Is that... Is this your shit ship over here? Oh, I think we oh, tagged this, it. Oh, this is... Oh, that ship is not you. It's... You're at the bad guy ship. Wait, which ship are we attacking? Um, it should be... At? No. Sorry, I'm, I'm fighting fighters right now. It should be like the orange one. I don't know where it oh, okay, went. I, see it. I think it's near me. It's got a bunch of defense turrets on it we gotta take out. Yeah. Oh, what did you just tag? Because whatever you tag said recruitable frigate. It's, yeah, it's the one, uh, there's a couple of recruitable frigates. I didn't tag them. I think it's just when you go over them, it goes it. They like to fly very erratically. I think I took out every turret on this this red ship. Can we do anything with it? I don't know. Still trying to blow this other guy up. Alright, let me go to this other frigate. Okay, so with these freighters, you just, you blow the cargo containers. Yeah. 
It will not let me kill this guy. Unless his health is just so incredibly high. Really? Yeah, so this ship that I'm next to, all the turrets are done. Gotcha. I don't really know if there's anything more to shoot at it. There's also cargo pods. Frigate near here. Yeah, that's the one that I was shooting. Yeah, I wonder what you do with these freighters, other than just steal their cargo. I think that guy's picked clean. Yeah, I think so too. Oh! Yo, let's go over here. Do you see what I'm looking at? This big group of... Uh, yeah, those are the guys I kept getting confused by. Yeah, if you follow me. Let's go let's go pillage these goobers. Pillage. not even doing it for the money my inventory's full oh this one just warped inside the other one. Oh man <laughs> no he didn't or is he oh. i can't tell he's like right next to it yeah they're like warped inside of each other oh no they're just super close together that's crazy Helping you out, buddy. Blowing up these defense turrets. Yeah, I'm kind of looking, really looking forward to squadrons. I think if I have any time this weekend, I might try to play it. But I don't think I'm gonna have any time this weekend. Yeah, same. All right, I'm gonna try and leave. Oh, did I just die? Oh, I did. Oh, it's a quote from Old Man's War. That's funny. I wonder if you keep all your stuff when you die. Uh, death event. Inventory lost. Return to death location to recover items. Oh, wow. Oh, that stinks. Um, maybe I just lost my ship inventory because my other thing is still good. Um, what do you say? You want to call it here? Yeah, maybe we should call it. Folks, thank you for bearing with us. Sorry for all the technical issues, but I'm actually really happy that we figured it out. Because yep. boy, was that freaking bother bothering me. Bothering me. Um, this has been a subpixel stream. Um... You know, if people are really angry, we can go. I can go personally take another look at EverQuest 2. Um, well, let's not make any promises we don't intend to keep. I said I, I will take a uh -huh. look at it. Not Ian. I can't promise Ian. That's the promise I can't make. Folks, uh, subpixelfilms.com will bring you right to our YouTube channel where you can check out all of the stream archives and the other content that isn't on Twitch, like our amazing spotlight videos, our documentaries, and... Other things, media cash, mm -hmm. random crap. Uh, I have been your host, Will Crosby. You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. That above me is Ian Gibson. You can find him on Twitter at Think Gibson. You can find all of our stuff at Subpixel Team on Facebook, Twitch. Oh, sorry. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
what I meant to say. Um, Twitter. If you're on our Twitch, you're already here. Think about following us. If you want to subscribe, go for it, but I won't make you. Um, until then, this has been us. You know, this is us. This Great is us. TV show, hit TV show. Go check it out. Bye. Bye.